Walk us through a little bit uh, the difficulty you had in starts tonight and what you attributed to. I don't know. I just was, was off a little bit. I uh, don't know really what it was. Just the whole weekend, I just didn't really feel you know that great. I uh, you know from the very first time I worked the track, I just just wasn't really excited to <laughs> to be out there. And the track was kind of a little boring and a little easy. So uh, I don't know. I just had to focus on little things that I wasn't really used to to focus on. And, you know, I think it, it was good for me this weekend to, to struggle a little bit and kind of you know deal with problems. Last year when I struggled, I ended up sick, so it was a little bad weekend for me, and I ended up second. So you know, I, I think I learned a lot last year racing every weekend with Ricky, and, and uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to be consistent. That's the main aim for me this year. Any uh, sore feelings considering Kevin's uh, block pass of David Villain that took him off the track? I didn't even see it, and you know, I guess it's bad luck for Yamaha, but. You know, Villeman's the guy who I'm battling for the championship with. So, uh, you know, I'm not happy, but it doesn't, doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Questions from the audience for Chad Reed. Say <laughs> Moving on to Kevin Windham, our winner tonight. Uh, back at the top, I believe it's Dallas 2000, Kevin. Was your last win in 250 Supercross? It's been forever. I, I had to uh, have help find the press room. <laughs> it's been forever. I can't, can't remember, but it, it felt good for sure. Take us through that. I mean, we talk about it in our broadcast all the time. No one's kind of gone through a road that you've gone through. Uh, coming out in the outdoors, you did so well. But then last week, really not putting in a performance you were proud of. Uh, what was on your mind this week? Well, we put in so much work at, at the Honda Test Track this week. Uh, Reed rode up on the hill and, and saw the whoops that we built, and, and uh, we really tried to learn a lot from from our last week, you know. And I think, I think, and in, in the thick of it all, it's kind of what what Chad said earlier is that you know sometimes you get to a track and you're just not feeling it. And, and last weekend was that weekend for me, and uh, I was very disappointed at my performance, and, and uh, you know I think I had a bad showing for, for all my sponsors, and you know I really wanted to to put my head down and, and uh, you know do it do it this weekend, and you know it's. Is the four shirt good here? Is it good there? Well, you know, I just want to want to do the best I can to make it good everywhere. Did any of that, uh, you know, intensity come into play with the David Villeneuve block pass? I know it's a very aggressive block pass. Took him off the track. Could you walk us through what happened? Uh, yeah. Well, it all started from from uh, the the first left hander after the after the triple. I think Mike had had one of the best views of that. I, I don't know what happened, but. He kind of ran in, ran it, ran it out to me, and I was able to, to shut it off. And uh, you know, I figured, well, what comes around goes around. I figured he'd probably hear hear me coming up the inside on the big thumper in the second turn, but he didn't back off, and our lines collided. You know, I, I don't want uh, any of these guys to think that they can run it up under me and, and uh, you know just have me roll over. You know, and that's that's kind of where it was. I think that it was an aggressive pass, but this is the, the track here at Phoenix was fairly easy, and you had to had, you had to be aggressive and. Um, you know, it's just the way it went. Uh, throughout the years, probably no rider has been praised more for his talent and criticized more for his heart. Uh, after 2003, a great outdoor season, now a win in Supercross. Looking back, how much of you th do you think that uh, criticism was fair or unfair? Well, I don't, I don't really know that it was ever about my heart. I think it was more about my desire, you know, and I think that a lot of people have seen that in in my break, you know, that, that when I came back, I came back because I wanted to, not, not because of any other reason, you know, and that's why I was very intent on sitting out until that desire came back, you know, uh, you know, it, it feels good to be back because, you know, I'm back here with, with my daughter who's over there talking to us and, and my wife and I'm having fun, you know, it's, it's uh, I stay in, in my motorhome and, you know, which is kind of my, my rig, you know, a lot like Mike's situation and, you know, it's kind of like the amateur days for me, and you know, I'm just having a blast. And, and when that day comes that I'm not having fun anymore, I, you know, I won't be uh, put back in a scenario where I have to, you know, I have to ride and you know have the results that I did and put my fans and my sponsors through what I put them through, you know, myself and my family and everything. Questions from the audience for Kevin Windham in the back. David Bailey used to work for ESPN. Uh, Kevin, first of all, congratulations. I'm a big fan. You know, I think you know that. And, Thank you. And, uh, it's great to see you get another win in Supercross and put a little excitement back in, in the series and all that. And uh, But on the other hand, I was I was kind of disappointed. I, I thought David, he did close you off. I mean, I saw that. And uh, 
but I thought he left your room. And when you came into the corner after that, you know, where you came inside of him, it looked like he came in kind of straight. I thought he left you a lot of room there to like go underneath him and, and get him, but get him there. And do you think that that was a little bit much to take him over the berm like that? Yeah, I fully expected him to shut off. Um, you know, I, I know that he heard me coming up the inside, and I think that uh, I think that he had a shot, and that's what I expected him to do, and that's not what he did. And our lines collided. I mean, looking back at it, you know, I think down down the road, I think that yeah, it was a, a definitely aggressive pass, and I think ultimately he didn't go where I thought he would. Um, you know, I think you can ask any of these guys that whenever someone's on the on the very outside of the corner and you hear someone coming up the inside. Uh, you know, most of our instincts instincts is to shut off and, and you know carve underneath. And if that would have happened, he would have you know left me in the turn. You know, because I didn't have a good apex and stuff. But uh, you know, I guess that it definitely was aggressive, and I think that there will be some controversy about it. But um, you know, once again, I felt like it was just kind of a uh, of a scenario where coming out of the out of the first turn, um, you know, I think that he should should have heard me coming. I think that all of our racing out there is is uh, contingent upon someone else's move. I think in, in traffic and stuff, and and that's a uh, part of, of of being out there is knowing where where people are at, and knowing when it's best to be on the gas and when it's best to be off the gas.